Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I'm back today with a little bit of a special video. Um, this is a request by Nico. I think he's the creator of MSL Nest. He actually messaged me on YouTube and asked me to, to basically review MSL Nest and take a look. So I decided to combine the two together. Um, I was gonna, I wanted to actually shout out this website as well because I thought this was a really, really nice website. So I, I decided to combine the two together. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys or do a demo of what this, what this website can do as well as um, maybe give him some feedback on what I think about it and what maybe he can do to improve it. Um, so this is just going to be my opinion. So yeah, big, big shout out to Nico. Um, he, I think he's called Nico RDT on, on Reddit. He was just Nico on YouTube um, and he asked me to, to give him some feedback on the site. Um, so, th so this is basically it. Now, what is MSL Nest? This is a MSL search engine slash database slash uh, yeah MSL search engine slash database. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, I think it's a pretty powerful website. It's got a lot of really really cool things that can be done on the website, and it it uses a formula that was created by by uh, what, what's his name again by. Smith Jez, yes, Smith Jez, who I think he did a lot of testing and came up with a formula of how damage is calculated within the game um, with different types of monsters, so like aggressors or attackers or, or you know normal type monsters. Um, I don't think he has the c calculation for. I think it doesn't matter for vengeance, anyways. You you would still calculate the same way for uh, a, as an attacker. So it's got a it's got a lot of really really powerful options um, in this site. So I'm I'm gonna be doing a demo of what it can do, and I'll have the link below to this website. So uh, first things first, it has a list of all the monsters in the game. If you just go down the list, you will be able, be able to take a look at all the monsters in the game. Um, the the other really cool feature of the website is the the ability to search. So you can search up whatever monsters. Say for example, you want to search the Arthur's, and it will limit your searches to only Arthur's. Um, it has the ability to search different things as well. So, for example, you want to search Arthur and you want to search water, and it'll give you the water Arthurs. It will limit the results to all water monsters, and it will limit the, all the, the results to all Arthurs. Um, it's also got the ability to search for skills. Say, for example, you want the ability, you want to search for hunter, um, you know, monsters with hunter skills. Then you will be able to be able to find monsters with hunter skills, but also search the hunters because the hunters are monsters called hunters. But it doesn't. I don't think it really matters. Um, you can also search the leader skills for critical boost. Critical. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> that was a. Uh... I derped for a second, but it's it's also got the you can search the leader skills. Uh, it's got a lot of ability to limit. Say for example, you want to search monsters with sap. You want it to ha be a tank, and you want it to be fire. Then it will search all the type, tank type monsters that have sap with fire. Uh, the other feature of this the the search or the search ability or or this. Uh, this database is you can you can sort monsters by their their highest HP, highest attack, highest defense, or highest recovery. You can also search for Nat threes, Nat fives. So if you only want Nat threes, then you can search for monsters. With the highest attack of, out of all the Nat threes is the Water Shelly. You can, you can search for that as well. Um, highest HP of all the Nat threes. Um, you know, it's got a lot of it's got a really really powerful search uh, searchability. You can you can use this and then you can you can be like you can limit it as much as you want. It's basically like filters. You basically just uh, every time you search for something, it filters other other things out. If you ever used a like an image search engine, it's basically s similar to that. So um, yeah, that's that's the number one option uh, or the two options. One is the search search ability. The other is the ability to. Um, to, to sort monsters by their highest HP, highest highest whatever. If you search by name, then it'll sort by it'll sort by um, alphabetical order. And if you, I think if you click sort, it sorts by monster type or something like that. Um, which is which is pretty much the same as name, so it's kind of it's kind of the same thing. 
Uh, the other really, really cool thing, I think the most important thing about this website is the ability for it to give you damage calculations. I talked a little bit about the, you know, how how it was it was calculated before. And you can actually go in and take a look at, you know, using the formula that it provided. Um, it gives you the kind of a general calculation of what your stats would be like if you if you uh, if you gemmed them up a certain way. I don't think Water Yuki is a good example. I'll use something else that's very popular that everybody uses. Um, Wood Leo, for example. Uh, Wood Leo is a very popular monster. A lot of people use him for arena defense. Um, he's also decent for titans, but mostly for arena defense. Um, so say for example, you want to put your Wood Leo on defense. You want to make him as tanky as possible. Uh, it's got the calculations for a protection set, life set, valor, intuition, and ruin. Basically all the sets with bonus, bonus damage and bonus uh, tankiness. So, say if, for example, you have a you have three protection gems for your Leo. Uh, you can just go down this column, and you want to see if you want, if you gem him up with defense, 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 HP, triple HP, or HP, HP, defense, which would uh, which would make him tank here. So you can compare the, his HP. Over here, this column is his maximum HP. Over here is his effective HP. If you don't know what effective HP is, uh, in a lot of games, it's basically the HP that you would you would have if you add together the amount of damage mitigation that you have you have so in, in the case of monster super league it's defense um, defense provides defense does not provide any extra hp to the monster but it provides damage mitigation which is like some sort of damage reduction uh, whenever that monster is getting hit so this is based on the calculation of the amount of defense or the damage reduction that you get added on top or multiplied by the hp and that would give you its effective hp basically and this is the number that's important um, to find out how tanky that monster actually is so say for example you gem him up with uh, triple defense this would leo with triple defense his effective hp would be 285k and um and then you take a look at if you jumped him up with defense, defense, HP, his effective HP would be 389k, and which was which means this is this this one's higher. Um, this is more effective to gem him up this way. And then you go down and take a look at triple HP. Um, you get 378k, and then you compare that with HP, HP, defense, which is 200 420k, and then you compare that with. Uh, Actually, wait, there's nothing else to compare that to. There's there's only four ways. It's either defense, defense, HP, defense, defense. It's triple defense, double defense, HP, or triple HP, or double HP defense. Then you find out that um, on a protection set, his highest effective HP is 220 on HP, HP defense. And then you can compare that. Say, for example, you have a life set, then you can, you can do the same thing as well. You find out on life set, he actually has the highest effective HP with HP, HP defense as well. And then, um, you know, if you, if you have them on a Conviction or a Broken set, you can actually go down the column for Valor, Intuition, and Ruin, because these gems have no um, tanky bonus. So you can just go down this column for Valor, and you can take a look at his effective HP, and you find out that he has the highest effective HP when he's gemmed with HP, HP, Defense. So you conclude that, um, you know, the optimal way to gem a Wood Leo um, generally would be to use HP, HP, Defense. Basically across the board, if you take a look at, um, you know, for for protection set or for life set, his effective HP is the highest when you gem him up with HP HP defense. So that's one of the ways you can use this. Um, you can also use this to c calculate damage. I think I get asked a lot of times for um, damage calculation for Water Valk. Like this is this is something I get asked quite a lot on a day to day basis because the Water Valk is a is a contract hero. Um, a lot of players do have her. And she's like probably the most popular out of the three contract heroes. And yeah, most people do actually use her. So say for example, you want to find the highest amount of damage that you can get on a Water Valk. Um, if you want to gem, him up, gem her up with triple attack or attack attack crit rate, which is definitely like, I think these two are, are the most optimal builds um, generally. But there's also attack crit rate crit damage. You can compare that a little bit as well. So say for example you have your water valk on um, on triple attack broken set then you can take a look at the protection and life life columns because these these two sets have no bonus in terms of actual damage so you can just take a look down these two columns so you can take a uh, you want to compare attack attack crit rate on a broken set versus triple attack you can find that um, attack attack crit rate yields 60 
3.3k um, average amount of attack. So I think this is like average average damage per turn versus uh, triple attack, which is 66k. Then you find that triple attack yields high, higher amount of DPS compared to attack attack crit rate. And then you can compare that with um, if you have her on a Valor set, if you have her on a Intuition, or if you have her on a Ruin set. Um, and then you can find that across the board, um, she has the highest of amount of, of uh, attack when you, or, or DPS or damage per turn, um, when you gem her up with, with attack attack crit rate on the Ruin set. Um, the other really cool thing about this, the damage calculation um, for the website, or the general damage calculation, which is this chart for the website, is you can actually, uh, it gives you the option to normalize crits. So this is, say, this is basically, um, you take the calculation as if you had 20% crit from substats, if you have this checked. If you, and then you compare that to if you don't have it checked. So this is when, it, when you do have it checked, you compare how much damage or how much um, DPS it has, and then this is like when it's when it's not checked. So say for example you have three, um, you have two sets of broken set gems that you want to gem her up with, and they all have really really shitty substats. So then you go and check this and treat it as if none of your gems had any crit substats, and then you compare the attack attack crit rate to a triple attack. You find that attack attack crit rate gives you. 55.8k um, um, you know average damage per turn versus 60.3k which is higher so then you conclude that triple attack on a broken set without any crit substats generally would be better and then you can compare compare that with valor with uh, intuition it's actually quite interesting if you had really if you have really shitty substats intuition triple attack is actually better than valor or it yields higher um, damage per turn than Valor, if you if you compare the two. So yeah, that's that's pretty much one of the other ways you can use this website. Um, if you want to look at the builds for a certain certain monsters, I never really used the gem calculator of the website. I don't think it works. I never tried clicking into it. Okay, I don't think it works. I think it's a. Uh, They'll, they'll add it in the future, but I think this is good enough because you can you can look at the um, you can take a look at a uh, you know the more optimal builds for for what whichever whichever way you're building that monster. And then over here, there's some uh, I think there's some normal builds that people would use like attack attack crit rate or attack. Wait, this is not a monster that exists. Maybe I should use something that actually exists. Um, so I use Fire Arthur. Fire Arthur is pretty, pretty popular too. So you can take a look at the, um, you know, attack, attack, ruin, and then you see that the, you know, what what average damage it would have, and then attack, crit damage, ruin, and then it has the, it it basically lists down the best optimal builds for that monster if you want damage. And then this one, um, you know, it, it gives you the highest damage for a bruiser. And then this is the highest effective HP for um, for other, for like, if you want to build a full tank, basically. So you can do that for all monsters. You can check, check, check out whatever monster that you have right now and see which way you want to build it for, you know, highest amount of effective HP. Or if you want to build it like, you know, slightly tanky with bruiser and still make it do, you know, um, the highest amount of damage. It's also got the calculation for aggressors as well. Uh, if you want to build it for, for damage, you know, on an HP aggressor, HP HP crit rate versus HP HP intuition, and then versus uh, HP crit rate, HP HP crit rate on, on life set. And then you can, you can take a look at the uh, difference between, you know, the, all the, all, all the possible builds like if you want highest effective HP versus highest effective damage versus um, you know highest amount of uh... wait I, I there's there's only there's only damage and and H and, and tankiness for for aggressors there's no in between because their their uh, their HP or defense stats give them give them damage so that's yeah the, I I, I I derp there, alright. 
I'm pretty fucked at the moment. I don't know why. I'm, I'm just feeling pretty fucked at the moment. Um, it's also got calculation for for courageous strikers. Like, if you take a look, if you want to see which which is the highest possible build for that courageous striker, uh, you can take a look at that as well. And this is quite interesting. Never, but this is based on a level 15 fire titan. But um, obviously, I think that the DPS would be higher if you were fighting against higher level titans. Um, but yeah, I, I think Dark Indra is a special case because he is a dark monster, so he has that extra crit damage. They also included the extra crit damage um, of of dark monsters or light monsters. If you have a light light monster, it's also got the included 10% uh, crit as well, and, and also calculate the hunter damage from his uh, from his passive skill. So you can, it's pretty accurate. It's got it's taken everything into account. So it's got it, it takes like. The hunter skills into account. It takes the uh, the uh, the courageous strike, the the skills or the the base stats of the light and dark monsters into account as well when it's doing the calculation. So there should be um, there really shouldn't be any mistakes when you take a look at the the calculation. But anyways, that is that is pretty much it for um, for the review of the site or showing off all the options. Um, I really wish I could say. You know, give give him some tips of what he could add, but I think it's got most of everything because the search option is pretty nice. It's got the ability to search up all all uh, all all skills or whatever. I think what would be really nice is maybe search up the ability to search up um, search up something on their five star skills, or maybe maybe I can maybe I can do five star sap. No, it doesn't work. Um. I think I, I can do AoE sap. Yes, I can do AoE sap. Um, no, it just gives me AoE and then a sap, so it doesn't work. Maybe maybe the ability to search up like a five star hunter or a three star hunter or something like that. Maybe that would be that would be something cool uh, for the future if you want to be able to add that into the search. Um, the the the, uh, the filters that, that that could be pretty nice as well. But yeah, that is that is pretty much it. I I really don't have too many complaints. I think it's I think this is pretty much near perfect. It, it suits most of my needs. Um, and yeah, a lot of things are automatic. Basically, he put down the the uh, like the calculation or the formula for all the monsters, and then it automatically generates these most optimal builds. Um, depending on whichever number that he's looking for, so I think it's pretty nice. Uh, should be pretty easy to keep adding new monsters in the future to the database. Um, big big shout out to to uh, to Nico RT, RDT on on Reddit. Uh, I think he was just called Nico on YouTube, but yeah, big 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 shout out to him um, for making this this database for for all all the players to use. And if you want to take a look at this website, I'll have the link below, and you guys can take a take a quick look at it. But I think it's already it's already pretty perfect. It's got it's got pretty much everything we need um, for the yeah. It's got it's got literally everything we need already. So um, I think I think I realized something that doesn't have. The, the leader skill, it doesn't show if it's global, if it only works for arena, if it only works for clan battles. Maybe that could be a pretty good addition to it as well. Because I remember I was using this website to look for a crit leader, but I wasn't sure if uh, if the crit leader, if, if the, the critical worked for globally, or if it only worked for um, for other things as well. But I think um, if you have a lot of experience with the game, it's basically used to used to uh, kind of remind yourself of like, oh, this monster exists or something like that. But it might be more uh, more useful t to newer players in the future if uh, if it listed, you know, what type of crit. Because I know the Garudas only work in clan battles. I know the Anus are global. I know these guys only work in dungeons. I know these are global. 
Um, wait, wait, I think these only work in dungeons as well. I'm not, I, I can't remember. The hunters ones only work in arena. The gins are global. Um, the bets, I think only work for the... Oh wait, the nifas are global. These, these aren't bets. Um, the Persephone's only work for dungeons. The pinos only work for clan battles. The sea stars are global. The suras are global. And... You know, if you if you play the game enough, you have it memorized. But um, if you if you're new to the game, then you know having something listed like oh this is global, this is uh, this works like this works everywhere. This only works for arena. This only works for PvP or something like that. Could or this only works for dungeons. Um, could be pretty nice as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is uh, that's 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 my review of uh, MSL Nest. And I'll include the link below so you guys can check it out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.